Hi there, in this tutorial we'll be looking, up, looking at how to set up a Google site for your classes. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you're actually using the Firefox browser rather than Internet Explorer. Firefox you'll find will work um, much more efficiently with um, both Moodle and Google. Then make sure that you are logged in and log in on the front page of Moodle as this will enable single sign-on to your Google account. Once you are logged in, you just need to click on the staff Google link. And once you are into Google Docs, you need to navigate your way to the Google Sites page. So if you go into your Google Mail or Google Docs, you will notice that along the top here, you have links to the different areas. We're going to click on Google Sites. Once you're in the Google Site area and you want to create a new Google Site, you click on the Create button. and then it gives you a choice of a blank template or something from the gallery. I thoroughly suggest sticking with a blank template um, to begin with because the um, templates can be very hard to manipulate once you have chosen them. So stay with the blank template at the moment. You need to name your site. The nice thing about Google Sites is it converts your title into a URL for you so it creates a web address just from your title that you give it. You can select a theme but we'll come back to that in a moment and you click create. So there you go in one click of a button you have successfully created a Google site. Your next step will be wanting to establish the sharing permissions. If you click on the share in the top right hand corner, you will see um, that at the moment the people that can access it are through Epsom Girls Grammar School and that they can find and edit and um, that you are the owner. So you can change that if you like. If you want to um, enable students to access and edit the Google site, you can um, highlight this URL and you can put that URL on your Moodle page and then your students should be able to access and edit the site also. You can also add your students. At the moment our Google Groups are not working so you need to actually add your students individually. Um, I suggest making up a Word document of all of your students IDs with their email address um, attached, so a class list. You can paste that into the Add People and then you simply have to um, click Save once you've done that. So um, I will add someone in here. So I'm going to add Miss Stimson so she can also access this Google site and it will notify her by email and you can share and save. And just to cover a couple of very quick basic things for your Google site, if you click back on the title here, this will take you back to the front page. And just very click quickly, if you want to be able to edit the front page, you click on the pencil. And that brings up uh, um, something that looks very similar to like a Word or a Google document menu up the top. So you can type in whatever you like there and you simply just have to click save. The other button next to it adds a new page. So if you click on that, you can name your page and you can also choose a type of page. A web page looks like a normal um, Google site page or you can choose an announcements page which works like a blog, a filing cabinet for resources, list or a start page. And once you have selected the type that you want, you simply click on Create. So that is how you create, share a Google site and how you can edit the front page and add a page. Hopefully that's helpful.